everything continues to lift to the north and east. It's a good soaking rain for many of us here around Richmond that have not gotten the rain over the past several days. Seems like it was northeast, south and west of us, but just not right here. Finally, we are getting a good soaking rain, helping to wash away some of the pollen because both the tree and grass pollen were in the high category for today. So getting the good end of the system, not the bad end. Notice you've got a big arc here of storm reports. That's what we're looking at here. Wind reports, hail reports, even a couple of tornado reports, and we're kind of in this void right here in the middle. I don't know what we did, but uh, Mother Nature took care of us today. And there's a look at the broad storm system here. Again, it's kind of a complex surface pattern in the upper levels. You can see the rotation around the area of low pressure. That low is going to move very, very slowly over the next couple of days. It's going to continue to bring us some showers and much cooler weather. And then it's going to kind of set up shop off the coast. It may actually retrograde back to the west. And it may be something that we still have around our neck of the woods for eight or nine more days. All right, for more on your forecast, let's go over to meteorologist Mike Goldberg. Mike. Well, yeah, Zach, we are going to hang in there with some more rain on the way. It is much needed rain. The good news is the severe threat will disappear after tonight. And it'll just be some showers, maybe a rumble or two of thunder tomorrow. Moving ahead a couple of hours, this is going to move out to the east. What we see now over us, still some showers around overnight. There may be some areas of fog as well. Temperatures are going to hold relatively mild overnight, but will stay in the 60s tomorrow and only in the 50s on Sunday. So a much cooler weekend is on the way. This is noontime tomorrow. Still some showers around. The first batch has moved out, so the morning may be quiet for many of us, but then showers will get going again and maybe a few downpours in the afternoon. But again, the severe threat is basically gone tomorrow. This is just rain, maybe an isolated rumble of thunder. Going into Sunday morning, the showers hang around, although the bulk of the rain shifts east of I-95 on Sunday. A lot of clouds around for Mother's Day, a stiff north wind keeping us on the cool side, and eventually a little bit of a clearing trend comes in Sunday night into Monday. Clouds hang in along the coast closer to the area of low pressure, but we'll see a return to some sunshine. Mild overnight, upper 50s, but to the northwest, the cooler air starts to appear and look at the highs tomorrow. Only in the 50s to the north, south side in the 70s. We're right in the middle in Metro Richmond, generally in the 60s. So your planner for Saturday, a good northerly wind kicking in 10 to 20 20 miles an hour. Rain chances will be a little bit lower in the morning, picking up again during the afternoon. As we go through the weekend, it gets even cooler. Only in the 50s for Mother's Day. That'll be some scattered showers on Sunday. We dry out on Monday. Should see a return to sunshine, but it stays cool. And then gradually we warm up as the week goes along near 70 on Tuesday. And by the end of the week, we could see temperatures flirting with 80 degrees again and an increasing chance for a few more thunderstorms later next week.